Hello, thank you for joining me today again for another three minute Bible study. Today we will be talking about what we have titled discernment. And let's open our Bible to 1 Kings chapter 3. Solomon is our subject today. Solomon, you know, as a young person, like an 18 to 25 year old, somewhere his age was in between those two, two numbers, was handed the kingdom of Israel to be the ruler of it, to be the king of it after his father David died. And he got, gets so overwhelmed by the huge responsibility and he cries out to God in 1 Kings 3, 7. Oh Lord, my God, you have made your servant king instead of my father, David, but I am a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to be numbered or counted. Therefore give to me, your servant, an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern, and that's the word for today, discernment, discern, that I may discern between good and evil, for who is able to judge this great people of yours? In the original, that word means to perceive, to understand. And discernment is perception of that which is obscure. So there is something going on, but it's fuzzy. And many times you know that things are not always exactly the way they appear. And Solomon knew this, he was going to encounter this. And to discern what is obscure, sometimes the Lord has to open your eyes to see behind the scenes. If we read Psalm 25, I like this one. I always go with this one. Psalm 25 verse 14, the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. God can make the obscure plain to you. Daniel experienced it when he, amongst many wise men in the kingdom to, to which he was um, taken a, a, as a slave, where he became, you know, like prime minister, he had to tell the king one day when they put this hard task and riddle before them. And he said in Daniel 2, 28, God in heaven who reveals secrets. He is the revealer of secrets. He's the one who can help you see and discern between good and evil. And in business decisions, everyday life decisions, God will help you to see what is really going on. So that's my time. Today, I want you to pray that the Lord will give to you the ability to discern and know exactly what is going on so that you can judge accurately. God bless you. Let us pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come. We ask, O oh God, that you give us an understanding heart. Fill our hearts, O oh God, with discernment, that supernatural ability to see behind the scenes and behind the curtain, to discern that which is obscure in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the revealer of secrets. Reveal secrets we need to know in our day-to-day -day lives and in our business decisions so we can judge accurately and wisely. In Jesus' name, amen.